hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a skeleton loading effect using html and css you must have seen this type of loading effect whenever you open some website or mobile app that display the skeleton loading before loading the actual content we will create this skeleton loading with css animation step by step but before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start the video. Here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor, which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Next we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name card. Inside this div we will create another div with the class name cover. So this will be one container for the cover image. That's why I have added the class name cover. Now we will come back to the CSS file. Here first we will add the color for the body. So here we will add the body tag. and for this one we will add the background and write one color code after adding this come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this color on the complete web page now let me close this browser and i will open the web page with the visual studio code extension called uh, live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Now come back to the CSS file. Here we will add the CSS for the card. So let's add the width 90% and max width 400 pixel. Next we will add the margin so it will get 150 space from the top and bottom and auto from left and right so it will be horizontally center then we will add the background so the background will be white and border radius so that the corners will be round by 5 pixel and overflow hidden after this card we have the class name cover so write this class name cover here we will add the height height will be 200 pixel and background there will be different background color after adding this again come back to the web page you can see this box with the 200 pixel height that we have added for the cover now just come back and uh, after this cover there will be some other information so we will group all the information in one div so write one div with the class name info and in this one there will be one square for the small image and there will be two other lines for the text so here we will add one div with the class name square then we will add another div with the class name line and duplicate this one so we have one square and two line after that we will add the CSS for this. So write it here dot square and width will be 80 pixel and height also same 80 pixel border radius 2 pixel and uh, there will be space at the bottom. So margin bottom 20 pixel and background. So you can see one square here now we need some space from left and top so just come back and uh, here we have the class name info so write this class name here and uh, for this info we will add padding 30 pixel so you can see some space around this square so after this square we have the line so just come back and uh, copy this class name line write it here and for this line we need the height height will be 30 pixel and uh, background then border 
radius border radius will be 2 pixel and margin at the bottom 20 pixel so after adding this CSS for the line just come back and you can see two lines here so we have designed the structure next we have to add the loading animation we have to add the loading animation in this cover also this square and this line also everywhere so just come back here we will add cover dot square dot line for all these elements we will add the background image linear gradient and here we have to add one angle 120 degree then we will add the first color code it will be 50 percent then again another color code 60 percent then again write one color code here we will add 61 percent and the last color code here we will add 70 percent let me change it this color code will be ec like this so we have added the background image next we have to increase the background size so we will add the background size 200 percent then background position it will be 100 from the x and 0 from y after adding this come back to the web page and you will see this white color of line like this in this square in this line so just come back we have to animate that one here we will add animation let's add wave or anything waves two seconds linear and infinite now we will add the keyframes for this one here we will add 100% and at 100% we will change the background position that's it so the background position will be minus 100% and 0 so after adding this animation just come back to the web page again and you can see this white color of line is moving by default so this animation adds a beautiful loading effect on the web page so finally we have completed this skeleton loading effect using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials thank you so much for watching this video